And here we have 5a minus 5b over five A minus two B plus C. In order to evaluate this, we need to know the values of A, B, and C. These are all given to us. A is equal to one b is equal to minus 2, and c is equal to 1. OK, let's start uh, substituting these numbers. I like to use parentheses for the variable. So here I have another a here, two times b plus, and there we have c. OK, everywhere I see a, I'm going to substitute 1 for that. And we have one place here is A, another place is here A. Everywhere I see B, I'm going to substitute minus 2 for that. And I have a couple of places here, right here, minus 2, minus 2. And finally, for C, I will substitute 1. Now, can I see a check mark next to your name if you can follow up to this point? Okay, uh, Adam, are you okay up to this point? All right, good. All right, so now we have to substitute. Uh, after substitution, we have to uh, evaluate this. Here we have five so we have five minus minus 10 or we can we can call this so uh, this would be minus 10 so we can write this as uh, 5 plus 10 then at the top and here here we have 5 minus that's minus minus 4 so, so here we have uh, 5 plus 4 plus 1 and it looks like I have 15 at the top of the fraction over then we have 10 the bottom of the fraction. Then I have to reduce this. If I reduce this, what do I get? Anyone? I would get 3 half, you said. If I divide both top and bottom of the fraction by 5, we have. Okay. And that was one of the choices that we were supposed to pick. All right, very good.